with you guys if it's Halloween or not. Maybe it's over Halloween, like one day or two days, or is before Halloween, or after, or is Halloween right now? But for me, it's not a Halloween now. Um, like one day left, but I'm so excited for it. But anyways, uh, um, so for today's video, I'm going to read a book name. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna read a book name, Mighty Jack, the Strikeout Queen. So this story is about a girl who proved that girls can also shit baseball. Yeah, baseball. I was confused for a second if it's baseball or basketball. Basketball. Oh my gosh. So for me, this story is one of my favorites because it shows the girl power. Yes, um, girls can do what boys do, boys can do what girls do, so it sh strongly shows it. So for me, I love this so much. For me, I'm not really interested in baseball, I'm interested in soccer. But um, if anyone knows Lou Gap, Lou, uh, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehring, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pronouncing that wrong. Then comment down below because I'm, I mean, pretty sure you guys know because I think they're famous, but for me, I don't know. So I want to see how many people are no lips. Let's just get right into this video. Woo! Miley Jackie, the strikeout queen. It was April 2nd, 1931, and something amazing was about to happen. In Chattanooga, Tennessee, two teams were about to play an exhibition game of baseball. One was the New York Yankees, a legendary team with famous players, Babe Ruth, Ruiz Gathering, and Tony Lazari. <laughs> the other was Chattanooga Lookouts, a small team, a nothing team, except for the pitcher, Jackie Mitchell. Jackie was young, only 17 years old, but that's not what made people sit up and take notice. Jackie was a girl, and everyone knew that girls didn't play Major League Baseball. The New York Daily News sneered that she would swing a mean lipstick instead of a bat. A reporter wrote that you might as well have a train seal behind the plate as a woman standing there, but Jackie was no train seal. She was a pitcher, a mighty good one. The question was, was she good enough to play against the New York Yankees? As long as she could remember, Jackie had played balls with her father. She knew girls weren't supposed to. All the kids at school, all the boys in her neighborhood told her that. When one boy yelled at another one, you throw like a girl. It was an insult. Everyone knew that girls couldn't throw, or that's what they thought. Day after day, in the neighborhood sandlot, Jackie's father told her differently. He said she could throw balls, and she did. She ran bases, she swung the bat. By the time she was 8 years old, Daisy Vance, the star pitcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers, had taught her how to pitch. A real pitcher talking to a little girl was all Jackie needed to start dreaming of playing in the World Series. Her father saw her talent, and so did Daisy. He told her she could be good at whatever she wanted, as long as she worked at it. And Jackie worked at baseball. She worked hard. She practiced pitching till it was cold and dark to stay outside. She threw balls until her shoulder ached and her fingers were crossed. She pitched until her eyes blurred over and she couldn't see where she was throwing. But it didn't matter, her arms knew. And now, she was finally going to have her chance to play on a real baseball team, to pitch to real players. The stands were packed, a crowd of 4,000 had come to see this strange sight of woman on the pitcher's mound. She stood tall in the field and looked back at the crowd in the bleachers. They were waiting for her to make a mistake, and she knew it. They were waiting for her to prove that baseball 
it was a man's game, not her game. It is my game, she muttered to herself and bit her lip. The Yankees were up top of the first, and the batter was walking up to the plate. Jackie was ready for him, the ball tight in her left hand. Except the batter was Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, the home run king, a big mountain of men. And Babe didn't like the idea of a pe woman pitcher at all. He thought women were too delicate for baseball. They'd never make good, he said. It would kill them to play baseball every day. He walked to the plate and tripped his cap at Jackie. But if she thought he was going easy on her, she could forget it. He grinned, the bat and got ready to slam the ball out of the ballpark. Jackie held the ball like it was a part of her arm, and when she threw it, she knew exactly where it would go, right over the plate, right where Babe wasn't look expecting, right where she watched it speed by and drunk into the catcher's mitt. Strike one! Babe Ruth gapped. He couldn't believe it. The crowd to roared. Jackie tried to block them out, to see only the ball, to feel only the ball. But Babe Ruth was facing her down now, determined not to let a girl make a fool out of him. She flinched right before the next pitch, and the empire called the ball. Hump! The babe snored. You can do it, Jackie told herself. Girls can throw. Show them. But the next pitch was another ball. Now the crowd was hooting and jeering. The babe was shrinking with them. Jackie closed her eyes. She felt her fingers tingling around the ball. She felt like it... Jackie closed her eyes. She felt her fingers tingling around the ball. She felt it heft in her palm. She felt the force of her shoulder muscles as she mounted up for the pitch. She remembered what her, fav her father had told her. Go out there and pitch, just like you pitch to anybody else. Strike two! Now Babe was mad. This was serious. Babe was striking out, and the pitcher was a girl. Jackie wasn't mad, but she wasn't scared either. She was pitching, really pitching, and it felt like something was happening the way she, it had always been meant to. She knew the batter would expect the same pitch, close and high. Even the batter was Babe Ruth. So this time, she threw the ball straight down the middle with all her speed she could put on it. Strike three! Babe Ruth glared at the Empire and threw the bat down in disgust. She told reporters that that would be the last time she'd bet against a woman. The crowd was stunned. A girl had struck out the Sultan of Swat. It couldn't be. It was a mistake. A fluke. What would the paper say tomorrow? But wait, here comes Lou Gehrig, the iron horse, up to the plate. He'd show her. She couldn't strike him out too. Lou Gehring swung with a mighty grunt, but his bat hit nothing but air. Strike one! He looked stunned, then dug in his heels and glared at Jackie. Strike two! Jackie grinned. She was doing what she'd worked so hard and long to do, and nothing could stop her. She pitched the ball the way she knew the best. A left pitch with low dip in it. No one could touch a ball like that when it was thrown right. Strike three. The crowd, so ready to boo her before, rose with a roar, clapping and cheering like crazy, back to back. Jackie had struck out two of the best baseball batters, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. She'd proven herself, and now she, her fans love her for it. But Jackie didn't hear them. She was too proud and too happy. She'd done what she'd always known she could do. She'd 
shown the world how a girl could throw as hard and as fast as the and as far as she hey guys so this story as i told you it's cool i mean it's like it shows girl power what can i say i cannot complain of girl power since i'm a girl as well so definitely um i love uh, like the design of this um book like the art the it, what is it called illustrator was super good at painting because i think this is a painting right yeah look at these like drawings they look so realistic so for me i really love these drawings and also my favorite part by the way is this part the strike one um place of the roof and the reason why i love this Thing is because look at the whatever this plate people are called faces they're like so shocked so for me I think that's super funny so for me I, this is my favorite part so guys comment down below what's your favorite part and if you do like this video don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to this channel also put notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new videos that are awesome like this i'll see you next time happy halloween